weather is very cold here in Korea. It's minus 10 for those who are uh, watching our uh, video. Uh, you should be aware of the fact that this is very cold, colder than I would say Indonesia, huh? colder than Nepal, but uh, uh, this is, I would say, one of the end time signs. It will be uh, more, more, okay, uh, climate uh, changes uh, in the days to come. So we should be, uh, we should prepare uh, for this. And also you tell people about the second coming of Jesus. Before his coming, all this, you know, social <clears throat> climate, circumstances, all the, you know, political and economic issues, uh, will be getting worse and worse, getting worse and worse, okay? Now, with that in your mind, <clears throat> I will continue uh, to the previous lecture, okay? Last time, <clears throat> last time, we have discussed over uh, this issue right here, which I have uh, written down here, okay? Now, the lecture four, lecture four, I, <clears throat> I just uh, designate the title called the Holy of Holies of Solomon Temple. Okay, Solomon Temple. See, the Solomon Temple was <clears throat> built in BC 959. Fifty-nine. That is a very famous uh, temple, and we should know the year of that temple construction. BC nine fifty-nine. Okay, when Solomon built the temple, okay, we consider, uh, we consider, we guess that he built temple on the site where we have discussed previously where uh, Adam was created, okay? And also Adam fell, okay? And later Jesus will be crucified, okay? That particular site, okay, we understand the Solomon built a temple. Are you with me? So I will, we will discuss that issue today and the next lecture and the next lecture. With that in your uh, mind, okay? Now here, let's say, this is the Solomon temple. Solomon temple has Two parts, two parts. One is, this is the temple, temple site, okay? And this is a courtyard. The, it's a two part, temple part and court, courtyard. The Jesus used to uh, visit the courtyard and he delivered the messages in the courtyard. It's, it's a larger, larger area, okay? Now, within the temple, within the temple, you look at me here, within the temple, there are two areas within the temple, two areas, okay? First area, we call that the Holy of Holies, this area. This area is called the Holy of Holies. Okay, in other words, it's a very holy place. Okay? And the other area is a bigger area. It's called Holy Place. It's, it's a different uh, title. This is a Holy of Holies and Holy Place. 
Okay? Are you with me? So this inside of temple. The Holy of Holies, in the Holy of Holies, okay, uh, there, there are two very important elements uh, located inside the Holy of Holies. First is this, it's a box. It's a, it's a square, it's not a square box, it's a, uh, a rectangular box called the Ark of Covenant. Ark of Covenant, that's a box, okay? It's inside. Uh, in the Ark of Covenant, okay, there are three elements which I have written down here. Three elements which I will explain to you later, okay? And upon the Ark of Covenant, upon the Ark of Covenant, on top of the rooftop, okay, rooftop, that we call the, the mercy seat. So now let me repeat again. Ark of Covenant is a box, okay? Inside the box, three elements inside, okay? That is one part, Ark of Covenant. Now, another part is rooftop. Okay? On the rooftop, Bible calls that rooftop the mercy seat. Right? Mercy seat. So, within the Holy of Holies, how many, how many elements? Box element, box means Ark of Covenant, okay? Box and rooftop, got it? It's separate, okay? Within the box, three elements. Don't forget that. This is the very important part here. We will, not today, I will continue to teach you about this, okay? Then we consider Jesus died Okay, right here, this location. Now, in other words, that the place where Adam created, okay, and fell, and later Jesus' crucifixion, all took place that location, which means Solomon built the temple, okay, and this site, he, he built the temple on the exact site where Adam created, okay, and Adam fell, okay, and later Jesus will be crucified. So this location, to Solomon temple location, Solomon's and all people considered that this Holy of Holy locations is the place, original place where who created? Adam created originally. And he fell. So Solomon felt that I want to build a temple of Jerusalem, okay, on that site, particularly the Holy of Holy, okay, will be the right that site of that Adam created and fell. And later, Jesus will die on that site. Therefore, that site is so crucial. Are you with me? Okay. Now with that idea behind, then let me uh, explain to you right here. Okay. Now, this is the review of previous lecture, but when you teach, always review with your people in order to connect previous lectures to the present lecture. 
That is the, the sign of a good teacher. Okay, now let's see here. After the first Middle East war, then you know what that is. Okay? Genesis chapter 14 story. Okay? On the way back to Hebron, see, Abraham was on the way, Damascus right here, then here, on the way back to Hebron, which is right here. Hebron, right here. On the way back to Hebron, Abraham visited two places. Two places. We'll see here. Then we will see right here. I, I enlarge this place like here. This is a Jerusalem. Okay. In the Jerusalem, Eden. Eden. Within the Eden, there are eastern part of Eden, which is right here. Eastern part of Eden is called what? Eastern part of Eden is called the Garden of Eden. Are you with me? Okay. This is a Garden of Eden. Within the Garden of Eden, two parts. Center. Center part. Okay. And Eastern part. I hope you understand. Okay, we're thinking of the, the center part. This center part is the part where Adam created and he fell. And then we consider the holy of holy. Okay, over there, we're located right here. So when Solomon built the temple, Solomon built the temple, okay, temple, the Holy of Holy will be the same site as where Adam created and fell. I hope you understand. Good. Now, let's go back again. When Abraham, okay, on the way back to his hometown, here is a Hebron, the Holy Spirit guided Abraham to visit right here, to visit, okay? Now, first visit was this at the top area. That is what? This is the valley of what? See, first place was the valley of Shaba. You We studied in the last lecture. He was greeted by King of Sodom, Genesis 14, 17. Then, who is the king of Sodom? We interpret it as the original Satan's dwelling place before the fall of Adam. Before the fall of Adam. What is the name of the place? The Right here? Yeah. It's the valley of the Shabe. Okay. Now, this place is also called the valley of Hinnom. I gave you the Hinnom. Hinnom is Jeremiah, Jeremiah 7.31. This Hinnom means Gehenna. That means, in Greek word, it means help. Hinnom. So that's the symbolic uh, description. That's the first. Abraham was greeted by the king of Sodom. Okay. When he uh, returned from the Middle East war, which is right here. And also, right after that, King of, King of Sodom, okay, right up to the second place was that center of Salem. Okay, now, King Salem, the King of Salem greeted Abraham. So now the King of Salem was here. Okay, 
His name is what? Melchizedek. Right. Melchizedek created who? Abraham. So we studied that the Melchizedek was Jesus, incarnated Jesus. How do we know? Hebrews chapter 7 described that Melchizedek was Jesus. Jesus visited there and greeted who? Abraham. So, let me repeat again. When Abraham returned back to his hometown where he dwelled, Hebron, instead of visited direct to Hebron, the Holy Spirit guided Abraham to visit that place. Okay? When he near to that place, the Satan, the who is the name? The king of Sodom greeted him. Okay. Also, Jesus, okay, by the name of Melchizedek, greeted him. So, the Melchizedek gave him what? Bread and wine. Remember that? All these stories. Okay. And he gave, Abraham gave him tithe. That story. Okay. Now, Melchizedek blessed Abraham, and Abraham offered tithes of all his possessions out of the Middle East war. Okay. <laughs> so, Hebrews chapter 7 said that Melchizedek was Jesus. Why, brethren, why? Because Jesus is the Passover lamb. We studied that. All this, we, I, I explained to you. Okay? Now, I say that place, this place, that, that's the original, okay, center of original Garden of Eden. Center. Before the fall of Adam. Okay. Now, this is, I just say that this place, before the fall of Adam, this center was the place where Adam was created. Adam fell. Later, Jesus will die on that location. Are you with me? Now, here, later, see, Adam, Adam fell is BC 4000. When Adam fell, now, Adam, BC 4000. Now, Solomon's temple was built when? BC 959. Okay? So how many? It's about 3,000 years difference. 3,000 years different. In other words, after the fall of Adam, okay, 3,000 years later, Solomon built the temple. Okay? He considered that holy of holy should be the place, exact place for Adam created and fall. Okay? But problem is this. During this 3,000 years period, okay, this original location has been disformed. In other words, that has been changed by, by what? By frequent Earthquakes. Earthquakes. So don't forget that. You need to write that down, okay? So it was very difficult to uh, identify the original, original location. Because of what? Because of 
earthquake, because of earthquake, especially, you know, the Noah's flood right here. Noah's flood was BC 2458. Because of Noah's flood, major uh, landscape got changed. Uh, major. Okay. Therefore, the, we suspect that holy of holy, uh, say, in the Solomon's temple location should not be or cannot be the same exact location as, as the original. That I will teach you the next lecture. Okay? But we just assume that, okay, the original holy of holy place, okay, would be the same as, same as Adam created and fall. We assume that. Okay? Now, with that in your mind, it was God's plan to build Jerusalem temple on that site. It was God's plan. Okay? Therefore, this is a very, very important part here. Uh, David, King David, God, Jesus ordered King David to purchase that land. Okay, because at that time, that area, Jerusalem area, was occupied by Jebusite, tribe of Jebusite. Jebusite, that is a tribal name. It's a, one of the uh, Canaan, Canaan tribes. There are 11 tribes of Canaan. Okay, one of the Canaan's tribe name is Jebusite. Is very famous, Jebusite, J. Okay, Jebusite. This tribe uh, possessed, possessed during the time of David, possessed that Temple Mount area. In other words, that this area, this area. They are you are you following me? Okay, so that area. Jerusalem area was possessed by Jebusite. Have you heard the name Jebusite? Yeah, that the Jebusite, you just like, I, I have given you all the Bible references right here. Now, Jesus asked King David, David, you, you purchase that land owned by the Jebusite on the Mount Moriah, Mount Moriah, Mount Moriah. So he, he asked the land owner, okay, land owner, his name is, very famous name is, Arauna, Arauna, okay. So Arauna, okay, who owned who owned this part, the Holy of Holies, and the holy place, this area? He owned that land, Arauna. Okay, so this, David purchased the land, this area, on the Mount, Mount Moria, okay? How much, how much he paid for? Right here. Silver, 50 shekel. Silver, 50 shekels of silver. He purchased the land. From who? Arauna. What tribe? Jebusite. Okay? Now, he said there was a PC 970, that he, the year that King David died. So King David, before his death, he purchased the land. Okay? From whom? 
Arauna. Okay? Jebusite. Now, that was Jebusite. Arauna's threshing floor. You know what I meaning threshing floor? Up to harvest the crops, it put down there and we, you know, what you call that? It's a threshing floor, okay? What, should, what, what you say in your language, you know what that is, okay? It's a threshing floor. Huh. That is, in English, we call threshing floor. Hmm. It's a threshing floor. Who bought that land? David. Okay, David bought it. Now, remaining part here, remaining part, that's a courtyard. It was a larger area, larger area, okay? And David bought from other person, okay? Now, we already said that from Arauna's threatening floor, Second Samuel chapter 24, 18 through 25. Explain that. Second Samuel, very important Bible references, okay? Chapter 24, 18 through 25. That is the end of the second Samuel. Second Samuel ends at chapter 24. See, for the sight of the Holy of Holies and the holy place. I hope you understand. Okay. Now, how about the remaining part here? Courtyard. It's a larger area. Okay. The for, for courtyard, David purchased from same Jebusite, but owner's name is Orunan. 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 Okay. He paid a lot of money. It's gold, 600 shekels. The other one was what? Silver, how many shekels? 50 shekels, okay? Over there, gold, 600 shekels. He paid for this area, this area, big area. Okay, the story said, First Chronicle, chapter 21, 18 through 30. First Chronicle, chapter 21, 18 to 30. Now, when was it? It was uh, 950, 970 BC, the year of David's death. David died uh, in that year. Okay, right after he purchased it, these two pieces of land, he died. Okay. Now, who is the son of uh, uh, King David who built the temple? Solomon. Okay. So now, land was ready for building the Solomon's temple. Okay. Now, in BC 955, Solomon built the temple that we call the first temple of, of Jerusalem, okay? The first temple, or we call it Solomon's temple. Solomon's temple. He built that in 955, where we say, First King, chapter 6, 38, said Solomon completed the building of the temple. Where? First King, chapter 6, 38 says. Then where he built the temple? On this side, on this side. Previously owned by who? Arauna, Jebusite, and who? Orunan, Jebusite. Actually, he built the temple right here 
on the side of Arauna, and remaining part courtyard owned by who? Orunan. Isn't it interesting? Okay. Now, see, as I said that, the Holy of Holies right here, Holy of Holies is right here, okay? Holy of Holies, this, we, we, we assume, we, we, get, we are guessing that, that is the exact location where Adam created and he fell and later Jesus died. That is our assumption. Okay? Now, so the Holy of Holy is the most holy place where Ark of Covenant and the mercy seats are located. The, within the Ark of Covenant, three elements, as I said, that the symbol of Trinity God, three elements. Three elements. Okay, right here, three elements right here. Inside of the Ark of Covenant. First element is a stone tablet. That is a Ten Commandment. Plates of stone plates of Ten Commandment. We 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 interpret that as a symbol of Father God. Okay? So the symbol of Father God. The story is Hebrews chapter 9, verse 4. That is symbol of Father God and manna during the uh, time of that in the wilderness time manna it's 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 the bread so we that is a symbol of Jesus Son God manna and also it's the buried Aaron's rod that is a miracle took place so we call it it's the work of the Holy Spirit so we symbolizing the Holy Spirit the three elements inside that Ark of Covenant uh, symbolizes the existence of dwelling of the Trinity God inside of the Ark of Covenant. Okay? So that the Ark of Covenant is symbol of the throne of God in the highest. The same. In the, thr in the throne of God, Trinity God dwelling. Okay, so that Ark of Covenant. Now, on the top of the Ark of Covenant, that's a very important. On the top of the Ark of Covenant, the rooftop, okay, of the Ark of Covenant, mercy seat, is it? mercy seat, mercy seat. Why it calls a mercy seat? Later, I will ex explain to you that the high priest. Uh, okay, carrying with him the blood of the sacrificial animal, okay, the uh, lamb, okay, and goat, he enters, the high priest enters inside of that Holy of Holies and sprinkling the blood of the sacrificial animal, okay, Okay, lambs and goats, and seven times on and bef on the top or around and before the mercy seat. The mercy seat is the place where the blood involved. Okay, in doing that, the people, the Israelites, will receive mercy. Uh, mercy uh, on their sins committed during the particular year. So, in other words, that God's mercy will be available upon that blood sprinkling up on where on the mercy seat. So, in other words, that your sins will be forgiven. Okay by the mercy of God, upon sprinkling the blood, sacrificial animal's blood on that spot. In other words, that later, Jesus' blood 
will drop on that mercy seat. Okay, this is important part. Okay, later the blood of Jesus will apply to that mercy seat for us to be forgiven our sins. So mercy seat locates where on the top of that ark of covenant. Okay, so in the ark of covenant consists of two parts. Okay. Ark of Covenant, that is right here, box, Ark of Covenant, and the mercy seat. So we are kissing Solomon built the Holy of Holies on the original center place of Garden of Eden. Okay? Assuming that Adam was created. Adam fell, and later Jesus will die on that place, on that location. That is our assumption. Okay? So with that assumption, uh, we will continue to learn more, more mysteries hidden inside of this historical event. Okay, but by now, okay, in this lecture four, we just say Holy of Holies of the Solomon Temple along with that original location of that okay, center of the Garden of Eden. I hope you, you got my message. May God bless all of you. And please, Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit, teach us more uh, clearly on this particular important issues for our uh, spiritual growth and better understanding of the Word of God, okay? So that we would love you more, love you more in specific ways. We will depend on you, the Holy Spirit, so that uh, your will be done in the lives of our days. In Jesus' name, amen.